So, we're talking about basically we're doing some problems with percentages. There's three main things, or actually two main things in looking at this. You're either trying to find a percentage of a given quantity, like you might be able to find 30% of $120 or 60% of 200 kilograms or something. Those sort of questions where you're finding a percentage of an amount. The other one is finding a quantity as a percentage. So we say you got 60 out of 80 for your exam. What's that as a percentage? Uh, you know, a person weighs 60 kilograms, another person weighs 75. What percent is the second person of the first in weight? So what, you know, how many percent is 60 kilograms of 70%? Those sort of questions where you're comparing things and you want to find it as a percentage of what the proportions are or what the fraction of it is. So the first thing you're going to go through is percentage as a quantity. If you're finding a percentage of a quantity, so if find percentage of a quantity, basically what you're doing is finding a given number of parts out of a hundred. When we find a percentage of something, you break it up, imagine you're breaking it up into a hundred pieces, and then you're saying, well, how much is it if I have 60 of this piece, or 30 of this piece, or 17 of this piece? Okay, so the percentage is breaking everything into a hundred equal parts, and you're saying how many of those out of a hundred you have. So, what you basically do is you change the percentage to a fraction with denominator 100. You can also change it to a decimal. So I'll put that underneath. Or a decimal. Okay. And then you multiply it with the quantity. And then you just work out what the percentage is, or what the quantity is. And just remember that you can have a percentage over 100. Okay. So, for example, if something doubles, you say it's 200% of the original. If you have 100% of the total, you have another 100% of the top. So, you could have 600% or 120% or whatever it might be. So, you can have. And the same thing applies to percentages over 100. You don't suddenly divide by 1,000 or whatever. It's always based on 100. The percentage is out of 100. So, make sure that you uh, remember that and just take note of that. So examples, find 34% of $600. 34% of $600. So the method, the way we think about it, is we want to find 34 parts out of 100 of 600. So we say, well, let's do 34 over 100 times 600. Okay, and if we work that one out, we can type it in. So we 204. Is that right? So it's $204. So what we're saying with this is 34% of $600 is $204. The next one, find 6.5% of 1,200 kilograms. Again, we do 6.5 over 100. Okay, so we're breaking the $1,200, 1,200 kilograms, sorry, into 100 parts. And we're saying six and a half of those parts, how much does it weigh? How much is this 6.5%? So I multiply it to the total, which is 1,200. And so that would be 78. 6.5 over 100 times 1,200. Okay. So it's 78 kilograms. So remember, you make it a fraction, if you find a percentage of a quantity, make it a fraction over 100, or divide it by 100, make it a decimal, and then multiply with the total quantity, and then you'll be able to so just like this. Okay. The next thing I want you to do is percentage increase and decrease. So, so we, if we want to increase, basically it's the same as this. You're just doing one extra step of adding on and subtracting. There's a percentage increase and decrease. You might want to say, I want to increase this, the weight of whatever it is by 20%. How do we do that? Or you might have a discount in the shop. An item is reduced by 15% or 35%. How much does it cost now that it's been reduced? Again, okay, it's a very straightforward process as well. 
when you want to increase or decrease a when you want to increase or decrease a quantity by a given percentage, find the percentage of the quantity of the total and then add or subtract it. I did have this four, but I'm just not going to worry about it secondly. Let's just keep it to one minute. Now this is the way I like to do it. I naturally think of it like that. If you'd like to ask me about the second method, I'm happy to really ask you and go through with you, but for now, let's keep it to one. So you find that percentage of the quantity, and once you have that, you either keep increasing, you add it to the total, or if it's decreasing, you subtract it from the total. Okay? So it's just that find the percentage of the quantity, add or subtract it. So that's the way that we go. So we have this example to increase $60 by 15%. Alright, so there's two steps. First step, find what 15% of $60 is, and then we have to add it because it's increasing. Alright, so find 15% of $60. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And so the way we do it is the same as before, 15 over 100 times 60. 15 over 100 times 60 equals is 9. Okay, so that's $9. Right, so that's what 15% of 60 is, $9. Now what we have to do is because it's an increase, we need to add it on. So increase, so it's 60. $60 plus $9, and so the increased price is cost or amount is $69. Right, so you've added it up. $60. Originally, find what 15% is, then add on the amount. Okay? Any questions? Is that familiar? The second example is decrease 300 meters by 48%. Again, the same thing applies. All we're doing is decreasing, so we subtract it at the end. But the first step is the same. We're finding 48% of 300 meters. And so to find 48% of 300 meters, we have to do 48 over 100 times 300 equals. Looks like 144 liters, and because the decrease, making note of the decrease, we have to subtract it. So we have 300 minus 144, and that ends up to be 156 liters. 56. Right. 156 liters. And so that's our solution. We decrease 300 by 48 percent, you end up with 156. So again, very straightforward. So we want to do this three and two steps. Find the percentage, add or subtract. Alright? So it's basically the same thing as what we did. And just finish writing that. And then once you've done that, the next heading is expressing quantities as a percentage. And now this is something that we do all the time. Because you want to work out your, your score in a quiz or a test. As a percentage, you do this, you've done this for a long time, you know how to do it. You just put one, you put the score you have over the total score, over the full mark of the score if you like, and then you multiply by 100. Okay? So your one quantity over the total quantity multiplied by 100. And so just put, bring the notes up. That's okay. No. Okay. It's possible to express a quantity as a percentage of another. So when asked to find a quantity as a percentage of another quantity, divide the first by the second. Alright. So what you want to find a percentage of, you divide it by the second one, or the total quantity if you like, and then you multiply it by 100. So one over the other, keep the quantities in the fraction, one over the other, multiply by 100. Okay? 
And we got a couple of these now. So Tracy buys a bicycle for four hundred and fifty dollars and then sells it for six hundred. What is the profit? We find the profit as a percentage of the cost price. Alright, so we want to work out what the profit is in dollars. And then we want to work that out as a percentage of the cost price, which is how much she paid for it, which is $450. Okay, so again, it's two steps to this one, but let's show you. I'll just do it here, Let's have a look. The first thing is the profit is how much money she made off it. So the profit is the amount she sold it for minus the amount she paid for it. Okay? So it's going to be 600, take away 450. $600 minus 450 is $150. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now the next part is to say, well, we know that the profit is $150. Well, what's 150 is a percentage of 400? So this is the way we do it. Find 150. As percentage of 40. So we're going to do that. And so the way we do it, according to this way, is to put one over the other, multiply by 100. So 150 over 450. You're comparing them. You're making a fraction out of these two quantities, and you multiply by 100 to make it a percentage. And that is equal to. You can see what it is. Take it 33. So we put 150 out of 450. The quantity is going to get any fraction and then you multiply it by 100. Okay. Okay. So the next one is the TV is reduced from $1,200 to $850. What is the discount as a percentage? So what's the discount as a percentage of the mark price, which is twelve hundred dollars? So first thing, what's the discount as a price? What's the amount of dollars that's been taken off? How many dollars have been taken off the price? Okay, so it's gonna be the bigger amount minus so it's 350. Alright, and when we talk about a discount, we want to find it as a percentage of the higher cost, of the original cost, because the price has gone down. So we want to find it as a percentage of the original. So what we have to do is 350 over 1200 multiplied by 100. Then you can find it. 350 over 1200. Okay, so the idea is if you ask to find a discount or an increase, you find it in dollars, but the percentage is the important one for a moment. Saying quantity over the total multiplied by 100. Any questions? We've got one more thing to go I want you to do is the unitary method. The unitary method talks about units. The idea of the unitary method is that you are finding out 
the quantity of one part, up to one percent or a fraction, one part of it. And so when you know that, then you can work out what the total is. If you know what one percent is, then you can work out what a hundred percent is, you can multiply it by a hundred. Or you can work out what fifty percent, thirty percent, whatever percentage you want. If you know the quantity that is equal to one percent, then you can do all sorts of things. And so that's the method, trying to find out what one percent is based on the information that we've given. Yeah. So when you know a quantity and how and what fraction or percentage it is of the total, then it's possible to find the value of the total using the unit tree. And you can actually find any fraction because you can work out the unit, which is the one, one percent or one part. Okay? So it's Again, you've seen this before, it can be a little bit tricky, but we'll go through it. Okay. Good luck with starting up in here. And do that at the top. So, no time to go back over here. Now, the example is, the first one, Four-fifths of a number is 96. If the four over five of a number is 96, what is the number? So that's the question. So we have to say, well, if four out of five is 96, we can say that 96 is four parts out of five. Four parts out of five is 96. So the question is, well, how do I find what one part is? So to find one part, what do I have to do to four parts to find what one part is? Thank you. So I've got, if I know something is four parts, how do I get one part? What, are, what operations do I have to do? Divide by four. Okay, four of these things, what's the jamming? If you know that four parts are equal to something, if you only know what one part is, you have to divide it by four. So find one part to divide by four. So we have 96 divided by four. Equal to what is it? And it's divided by four. Twenty-four. Good. Okay. So what we know is that one part is equal to twenty-four. Now that we know what one part is, if you want to know what the number is. The number is going to be five parts out of five. So how do we find what five parts is when we only know what one part is? Times it by five. Okay. So to find the total, which is five out of five, we have to do twenty-four times five, and that is equal to one hundred and twenty. So our answer is one hundred and twenty. Four six of the number is ninety six, and that number is ninety six. Okay. Okay, dress cost one hundred and forty dollars, and is sixty percent of the original price. What was the original price? Again, the goal here is we know that at a certain price, we know that it was 60%, or it is 60%. So what we can do is work out what 1% is, and then multiply by 100. So how do I work out what 1% is if I know it's something 60 How do I get from 60 down to 1? Divided by 
finding 1%. So we have to do divide 60% by 60. So what I do is I say well, 140 divided by 60 equals 2 3.33 and it's important this is a dollar amount okay so this is a dollar amount because we're saying that we're dividing this 140 dollars by 60 bucks to work out what 100 what one percent and so how are we going to get to 100 percent you know what one percent is how do we get back to 100 100 by 100 okay for 100 percent We have to do 2.33, which is the 1%, $2.33, multiplied by 100. And that is equal to $233. And so that's what the total original price is. $233 is the original price. Okay. There's one more example, but I think it take a pretty 10 minutes to work on this. I'm going to skip it. Okay, so the exercise is odd questions of exercise 1.18 ACE. So all, when it, if it has multiple, well, if it has multiple parts, I just want you to do three of them, A, C, and E, and just the odd questions. Okay, 1.18. It's quite a long exercise. So 1.08. One point zero eight odd questions. All right.